Welcome to Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. My name is Dimitri, and today we're going to share with you um, a really nice uh, piece of excitement that uh, we're looking forward to. We're going to put together a custom uh, Ural gear up, two wheel drive, and we're going to take you through the entire process, which takes us uh, quite a bit back, uh, back when we place orders on our motorcycles. So we do quite a bit with custom motorcycles. We have the stock configuration, just base model, MSRP. There's no additional accessories. You can set it up the way you like it. But once you start setting up your bike and you say, wow, I want to do this, I want to do that, but I wish I ordered it this way or that way. So we're going to take you through the process. How can you ultimately end up with an amazing Ural motorcycle with a sidecar with reverse, with two-wheel drive, and with a lot of fun that comes with it. Let's get started. So we're starting off with factory customization. You can do your own. We can order a motorcycle for you with specific factory customization uh, that you want to have. Factory customization are the items that we cannot, some of them we cannot change period, like a color of the bike. Theoretically, you can do this, but it would be cost prohibitive. There are certain things we can do, but it would still be more expensive to do it afterwards. So we highly recommend put a lot of thought into factory customization. And most of the motorcycles that we offer have the top level of factory customization. It's a small price to pay to really have the ultimate custom Ural motorcycle. Uh, color, you start with a the color. There are stock colors and that would save you quite a bit if it happens that you like one of those colors. Once you pass the color, then you get into black powder coated drivetrain. I think it's a must have option for any motorcycle, certainly for the Ural motorcycle that you'll be using out in the elements. And then you get into things like uh, gas tank with the toolbox. You get into things like sprayed on liners on the inside of the tub in the cargo compartment, undercoating on the tub, undercoating on the t fenders. Most of our custom motorcycles we order in the top level configuration because then when you add the accessories on that bike you really have everything. You're not going to say I wish my bike had this but you're not going to be able to add that. So now that we have the motorcycle with factory accessories that match your uh, need and what you want, now you can think of what kind of additional add-ons you want to put on your bike. And for that, going to other accessory store, which is, we call it e-store, and uh, because we started that in the, I think in 2007, and e-store was, wow, that was a big deal, but now, uh, it's a normal way of doing business and we definitely have just an amazing presence in Ural community and motorcycle accessories in general and certainly in Ural community. So when you go there, make sure you have time and patience because there's going to be a lot of accessories. And the way we list our accessories is not to mention transparent. Most of them have videos and instructional videos, but we also have an option with installed pr uh, price with accessory installed and price with uh, just parts only. So you can always look at it both ways, especially if you're budgeting or building your own Ural. So definitely do that. Um, and we're using this motorcycle as an example. You can see the sold sign, it's sold. It's actually right from here after we're done with this video, it's gonna go in our shop and our technician is going to get started with a lot of accessories on this motorcycle. We're gonna show you all these accessories. Uh, on this particular motorcycle, and that's not uncommon, the uh, customer that's purchasing it, he selected certain accessories not to be installed. Uh, he owns uh, a high-end machine shop. He's going to do certain accessories, but he's going to have us install uh, accessories that require repetitive skill. Obviously, our technicians installed hundreds of them, and we sell them online. People buy them, install them. But obviously someone who's done it many, many times will do it, it will go a little smoother. So I have a list here 
that shows all the accessories on this bike. It's basically a two-page list. This bike has a lot of stuff. N not everything, but a lot of stuff. So we're going to take you around uh, in no special order, but we'll take you around and show you how these accessories look before the installation. And again, individually, you can find listings for these accessories right on our website, euroNE.com. And you can type in hand shifter and it's going to give you the hand shifter options we offer. You can type in air horn and it's going to give you that option. And then you can click on the specific video for this accessory. And I would think that most of these accessories, we will have links in this video. So check that out. So we are going to start. Uh, so with this bike, we have a factory set of factory options. It's got uh, stock color. Uh, standard configuration, no uh, premium was charged for the color, and pricing for color could uh, get up uh, up there because you have a, s a solid s uh, colors, you have a dual tone, triple tone, uh, there's a camo color, so you can definitely get kind of carried away just with colors alone, but you're going to have really what you want for years to come. So this has a stock color. It has undercoating, it has a coating on the inside of the tub and coating in the cargo area. All three fenders are undercoated as well. The fuel tank has the storage compartment and that's, that's it for this bike. Um, then we get into um, what we call Ural NE, Ural of New England install, installed accessory. So you may be looking at the bike in the showroom now and some will already have certain accessories. And that's how you'll see it on the website. The price of the bike will include the MSRP, it will include the accessories that we already installed. Uh, and of course, it includes the cost of accessories, the installation labor, and it matches how we have it on the website pricing. We are very transparent there. And then of course, um, don't forget if you're pricing one of our bikes, we do have a set of fees, which are also transparently listed in the listing, definitely pay attention to that. And then when you start from there, and if you select one of the bikes that we already pre-customized for you and those accessories match your wishes, that would be a good bike to start because we already have it in stock. And for this bike, for example, the only two things we have done other than factory customization, and one of them is no charge. When we set up new Urals, we install a trickle charger harness. We do it free of charge. Every Ural, every new bike we sell, Royal Enfield comes with that standard for us. And then the other tweak we do, which is uh, we, the factory, uh, these factory lights are installed um, as a part of the motorcycle setup. And the harness would usually run on the bumper. So what we do, and I mentioned that in a number of videos, but since it's important for this video, what we do, we drill a, uh, an excess hole on the bottom of the bumper. Of course, we touch that up. We prime the exposed metal and we touch it up with black paint. And then from there, we feed the harness that we run inside the tube and we pick it up on the other side of the bumper. And then it makes its way into the bike harness. But what it does, it prevents from any type of harness damage down the road because obviously bumper is highly exposed and plus it just looks awesome. And we want things to look awesome because it's an awesome bike. Um, and people that ride these bikes are also awesome. So uh, with that said, uh, this is all we had on this bike. So everything else was the selection of the purchaser of the motorcycle, our customer. And uh, I'm going to use uh, this cheat sheet because it has a lot of accessories and some of them, most of them, I shouldn't say most, probably half of them, certainly all the electrical ones will be installing. So we'll keep you updated throughout this uh, process. Um, I mentioned the enclosed wiring harness for the LED sidecar fog lights. Then uh, the next thing we're going to install is going to be the hand shifter. You can see it right here. And these are made in United States and it's a high, uh, very durable, uh, solid construction. And then we do have the detailed video, how it goes on the bike and how it works, but this is how it looks before it goes on the bike. There it is. And of course there's some hardware with it too. 
Uh, the next item that's going to go on this bike, and again, no special order, is going to be heated grips. We have them right here. And this is, we tried, I should say, not dozens, but certainly over one dozen of different hand grips that uh, we tried. And we picked these and we're very happy with them. They work phenomenal. They, they produce a lot of heat. They're very durable. We've seen them years later and they hold up awesome. And the wires uh, kind of stay out of the way. You don't even know the wires are there. So the next thing we're going to install, we're going to install this uh, bullet uh, parking brake. This little device is actually quite incredible. And it's not only going to work on your Ural motorcycle, you may have other motorcycles. So this little thing goes instead of this bungee bolt and it does miracle because all you need to do is when you squeeze your front brake and you push and you push this little button it will actually hold the hydraulic fluid pressure in the cylinders and it will act as parking brake so that even though Euro has a parking brake but this is much quicker and easier and it could also serve as an anti-theft device even though thieves have a lot of respect for Euros in selling Euros for almost 20 years we haven't heard of one that was stolen but still you can definitely use that because once it's locked the bike is not really going to move anywhere unless they squeeze the parking uh, the handbrake and then it will release it because that's how you release it so that's that that's actually one of my favorite it happens to be the smallest one of all the accessories uh, then we have these uh, hand guards that are really nice and heavy duty they work awesome as we make our way around this desk you're going to see the h4 this is made from glass and uh, it does phenomenal even with the incandescent bulb but if you're going to go that length and install this uh, lens, you should definitely install the, this particular LED uh, bulb. Again, we've tested many of them. This one, based on the longevity and performance, this is the best option, and we've been offering it for years, and it works amazing. So that's that. Uh, since we're in the lighting uh, topic right here, right next to it, I have um, this lamp and the custom harness that we fabricate for you. So this would go on the sidecar fender and it works phenomenal because it is really the only light that's going to um, kind of like set the, at night, uh, other drivers in the rear view mirror, they would see this, your motor vehicle full width with this light and with a headlamp. And yes, we do have the little plug and play harness that you tie into the electrical harness of the bike and we calculated the load of the LED light uh, with the load that runs uh, through the circuit which works out awesome no worries there the next part of the electrical is going to be uh, this little set of wires uh, this is a uh, solid state relay it's actually, it looks like a relay, but it isn't. Uh, but what it does, it's the hazard light switch. So it goes in a certain way, and then you'll be able to turn this on, and you'll have hazard lights on the Ural. I think we covered everything on this table, except for one of the best accessories that we have offered for years. And what this is, this is a direct drive air horn. Um, it's very loud, it's very powerful, it draws some amps, so we have a relay circuit for that. We also designed this custom bracket that is actually, after we designed it, it's made by the machine show, but every angle on this bracket was hand tested to produce a perfect fit of this air horn right between the frame uh, legs of the Ural motorcycle. It will go right there. And then there's also a pow powder, it's powder coated. And then we have this clamp. It's a very easy installation, but because we put a lot of effort in designing this, the installation is very easy. But once it's there, it's not going anywhere. So in the front here, I have the uh, 
front rack that's going to go right here and it, it comes with the installation kit with heavy duty rubber bushings and also in the very front here we're going to have a couple other things it's going to be this Voyager bag. We have a great video on this, so check that out, which comes with the custom bracket that we designed again here. And that fits the contour of the nose of the sidecar. Actually would go like this. And then uh, it matches up with this back that is easy on, easy off with some uh, pins that locks it in place and then you can have it on the bike or you can have it with you This is one of my favorite accessories. Yep here. Here it is It lines up with these and then the little pins go in there brilliant design so we've got that covered and as we make our way Around the sidecar. We also have the sidecar rear view mirror, which is powder coated and it would go right here very easy installation we have the uh, we have the video on that and the only little tip when you drill it there's a reinforcement plate make sure you catch that too uh, one of another one of our accessories that we designed and it's actually made by a by a very nice woodworking shop right here in Boxborough they have different types of woods the wood is beautiful and the way they finish the way they finish this is just impeccable it's it's really nice to just keep it in your hand. We designed the contours you can see around and it fits beautiful. We have different type of hardware, stainless steel and powder coated. As you can see, all the holes are recessed and it's just so smooth on the edges and throughout. And then inside, we're going to have the 12 volt outlet and this, oops. While we're on the electrical topic, it's definitely worth mentioning. So this bike will be converted to full LED bulbs and this was a very intensive project to figure this out. I know some of you have done it already on your own but we um, we had to match all the bulbs with the proper drawer and uh, definitely come up with a proper relay for the turn signals for all this to work properly and we've tested it and we came up with this kit that works out awesome so this bike is getting that as well um cup holders why not so we actually have this uh, brilliant setup check this out it works like this it's wide and there's a nice spring loaded flap that keeps your drink in place and when you're not using it it uh it folds flush it fold this uh, hardware so it folds flush like this that's it and uh, there are different way uh, different places where you can install it uh, we learned that the best installation for the sidecar passenger is not on the sidecar but it actually happens to be on the fender right here so we're going to install it right here for easy access as you can see it folds out nicely and you can access it we tried it over here and it makes it actually tough to get your drink in and out with this, uh, with this edge. But over here, it works awesome. So for proper installation, you would actually have to remove the wheel to do it right. And uh, we obviously put spacers so there's no damage to the paint. And then for, this, for the motorcycle operator, uh, you shouldn't be drinking any drinks when you're operating a motorcycle, but when you are not in motion, you can uh, reach for your drink, and then we would actually place it right here. So that's that. And one of our really best-selling accessories are these hand, hand uh, armrests right here. They go right there, very easy installation, very durable very reliable and we've sold them for years so um, they're custom made for our dealership in the United States as we make our way towards the rear of the bike and around I'll mention that any brand new Ural that you buy comes with comprehensive and complete set of tools so it's right there it comes with it says owner's manual but this is more of a shop manual because it has all your wiring schematics 
all the maintenance step-by-step -step procedures, even the diagnostic trouble shooting uh, guide and diagnostic code, so it's got all that. And then you have your touch-up. The bike has two, two tones. It's essentially black frame and trim and the color of the body. So these are right here. So now we can officially close the trunk and we're gonna make our way around towards the rear of the bike. And I'll take a tiny little break just for those of you that are wondering what kind of cars do we have around here. So you don't have to put it in the comment. We have a 1972 Moskvich from the Soviet air. We have the Lada Bose. Uh, 1994 and that is a very rare car if you're interested in unusual automobiles just read up about that we have it on the website uh, we have a 1999 Acura CL 3.0 with 9,000 miles and the car literally in brand new condition one owner car and we have kind of like your run-of-the-mill Porsche not a big deal and over there we have an E36 M3 convertible. And as we have the camera pointed in that direction, we have a, a Dnieper, 1976 a Dnieper motorcycle, solo. Okay, so let's get back to uh, some other cool accessories. One of them is this um, rear bumper. This was designed by our dealership many years ago. We didn't have to do any improvements over the years because it worked out to be perfect because we've done plenty of prototypes. Very easy installation, very sturdy, works awesome. Has these nice crossbar for enhanced look and for additional uh, stability. And if you happen to bump into something, they're really, really sturdy. And then we have uh, the accessory tow hitch. It is, uh, we put a lot of thought into this. It's extremely heavy duty and it, it connects to the bike, to the sidecar frame in um, different directions. So this goes to, um, to the mount right here. And this goes to the tubular part of the frame and heavy duty clamps, it's all machine uh, a machine shop here in the U.S., a local shop, uh, worked with us to design it and produce it. They've been super popular. They work phenomenal. They're very heavy duty. You can stand on them. And I, as far as towing with them, theoretically, yes, you can tow with them. You have to use common sense what you tow, how you tow. But from the accessory standpoint, you can put uh, heavy um, items in there. Of course, use common sense, but it will take some serious weight right here. So that's what's going to go on the rear of this bike. And we're not installing these items because the purchaser of the bike, our customer, is going to do that himself and a few other bolt-on things. Uh, we are going to install this food box. And uh, that is the installation that we're going to do here. So we'll show you. But it's basically going to go here. It's extremely heavy-duty. And it also ties in we're gonna replace uh, this engine guard, which is okay, it's better than nothing, so it's certainly gonna protect this way um, very good, but if you're gonna swipe this way, it's gonna fold in and it's still gonna do some damage to the cylinder. This one, not to mention it's extremely heavy duty, but it also it has this uh, connection, third point connection to the food box itself, which is a strong uh, engineered construction that ties into the frame. So after this all set and done and connected, uh, it can take some serious impact before it will give. We have a 12 volt outlet and there's an option you can do the 12 volt like cigarette lighter style or we actually have a already USB um, plugs. What's nice about this, you can use it as a uh, your round uh, accessory uh, plug and you can put an insert with two USB uh, ports right in it. So that's something that's going to go on this bike.
So I just went ahead and actually grabbed this. Um, this is the rear seat um, rack. And the reason it's called rear seat rack, because it goes behind the seat. It's actually, so this would line up right here. The tube uh, size a little bigger than the bumper has the same finish, powder coated finish, and it's very, very sturdy. You can put some good amount of cargo back here. Uh, but the reason it's going on this bike, because we're gonna install the uh, rear passenger backrest, it's gonna mount right here. That is on the way to us. And then uh, we're gonna show it to you in the next video segments. But for this segment, we wanna thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned. We're very excited to show you the actual installation process of all these cool accessories. It's the end of the day here at uh, our service center. And we do have the Ural. Uh, we're getting ready to install most of the accessories. Some of the accessories we started installation on. You can see the hand shifter, the main bracket uh, with the shaft. It's already in place. Uh, we laid out some of the harnesses. You can see the heated grips. You can see this heated grip. We're getting ready to start routing all that. And we're now working on the power distribution um, setup for all these accessories because this bike is getting a lot of electrical accessories. So we need to think it through and set it up correctly. Uh, let me show you how things look with the seat and the gas tank removed. And by the way, these are the four holes. Uh, they are pre-drilled for the installation of the second um, vintage style solo seat for the rear passenger. And of course, at that point, you'd have one for the front or you can use them to mount the rack. We have the headlamp removed. And yes, we do protect the paint with these little covers. And there are a lot of improvements on electrical harnesses on the modern Urals. So we are very pleased to work on it. It looks like a lot of wires out there. There are quite a few. We um, opened it up and now you can see for yourself how things laid out. We're making good progress. The fork lights are installed and the harness making its way to the power source. We are working on the sidecar fender light now. And to install that, we have to remove this um, fender light. And then you can see the harness makes, it, makes its way through the grommet, ground, and then we connect it to this terminal right there. And you can see the power distribution connections there. And the harness is, uh, yeah, most of the harness is already uh, in and powered up from the battery power source. So here's the cylinder temperature gauge. We're about to install that. And we use the shin guard, shin guard mounts, these brackets we use to, so they're gonna go on the bike frame uh, with the shin guard, of course. So that's gonna go here. And that's where we're gonna mount the uh, base for the uh, gauge and the base is powder coated metal and the bracket is also heavy duty metal so no plastic there and there's a uh, grommet on the back so we're gonna feed our uh, sensor wires and these actually the little sensors under the plugs generate a little bit of current that gets delivered to the gauge. And then depending on the temperature, it will uh, move those needles uh, up. And then that would allow uh, us to measure the temperature as we operate the motorcycle. So we had very good luck with those gauges. They work phenomenal. And you can definitely keep an eye on the temperature of your cylinders. You can also see how one cylinder is running in the relation to the other side. And as you can see, we made huge progress with a lot of components already on the bike. 
and today we're going to finish installation of the gauge and a few other things. Welcome back to Alpha Cars and Ural Motorcycles. My name is Dimitri. I'm very excited to report we have completed this bike build. Uh, there's still a lot of accessories that's going to go in the box to the new owner. Uh, the types of accessories, as we mentioned early in this video, they're going to install themselves. But we did complete our uh, accessories package that we needed to install. Of course, we did an awesome job, and we're going to show you how everything looks on this bike. And Ian, who running the camera, we actually going to invite him in the sidecar as we take the bike outside on this beautiful sunny day, sunny and cold day. So Ian, come on in, but let's get the bike started. And this one, we have the hand shifter, and I may have to do a little bit of a three-point turning here. So we're gonna start with starting the bike. First gear. Actually, I think it's just gonna make the turn. The RPM are a little high because on the modern Urals, uh, just for emissions, when you start it, uh, they run slightly higher RPM. Within a minute or two, the RPM go down. So we're gonna clear that right side. We're gonna get, get outside. We can use our foot, brake, uh, foot shifter, and as I do that, you can see the shifter moves, or I can do it by hand, and that's my first gear. And everybody asks, how do you shift it? Like, yeah, it's pretty easy. So we're going to do it together. I'm in first gear. And all I need to do is squeeze the clutch and put it in second gear. And I'm still in neutral, by, uh, in idle. It's still plenty of torque for the bike. If I want to downshift. So we, we're, we're going to pick up a little bit of speed, not much. And again, early shifts. Again, I can downshift it into first gear and kind of with a clutch, let the vehicle slow down. We actually have two vehicles that are considered uh, kings of off-roading in luxury. <laughs> so here's the G-Class, the legendary G-Class. And right next to it, we're gonna have a legendary Ural motorcycle. So I'm gonna put it in neutral. Here is neutral, reverse, and we're going to back it up for uh, more video footage to show you this beautiful motorcycle. And I'm going to shut the engine down just so it's a little quieter. And by the way, uh, when uh, these engines break in, like after, I would say, realistically, after a couple thousand miles, they sound um, different. They sound much, much quieter, smoother, and um, but even now it sounds awesome. Here's another Ural. Our service manager, John, is running a Ural motorcycle. John, how is it? Are you on the camera, just so you know. Yes? So this is 2013, and actually you can, you can hear how it sounds. This bike has, what, 7,000? Uh, 12,000 kilometers, so it has 7,000 miles, and you can hear the engine sound is actually a little bit quieter than that. So, John, sorry for interruption. You can continue your journey. All right. This is, uh, I'm not even sure where to start in. What do you think? Should we start from this side? Sure, or we could start from the back, I mean, from the from front, the front and work back, our way yeah? back. Yeah. Well, Here's the front license plate, um, vintage style license plate uh, that you can put your decal, you can put your favorite wording on it, whatever you want to do. It's heavy duty, it's all metal, uh, nice mounting. You can see it from, from here. We have the H4 light, we have the uh, fairing, and this customer selected to refinish the fairing in matching flat black that matches the apron for the windshield. Actually, very, very good choice. It matches a lot of flat black stuff. So we actually like it. I was not sure about this for this color, but I do like it. I do like it a lot. We did a custom installation. When you install these, 
Um, you can, of course, slap anything on, but if you really take your time, which we did here, you can see we trimmed, uh, we opened up the bottom edge and we trimmed um, so that we're able to recess, recess the bottom edge, and which allows the gasket to fully surround the headlamp, something that um, it's not tough to do, but it just takes extra steps. And then on the inside, since we're on the windshield, we're going to show you proper mounting. Um, these are supposed to be cut flush. They shouldn't be sticking out. These are supposed to be bent and aligned properly so that this flange is in the same plane as the windshield. You don't want it to be any other way. So this is something we do before we install. And then, of course, you can see nylon um, uh, nylon locking threads and of course we set it up in the way that the bolt length matches the very very end of the nut we didn't have to cut it and it's nice and flush so this is a really proper installation when you're done with your windshield if you took your time and if you did it right this is how it's supposed to look so here's the windshield we have plenty of light on this motorcycle now we have the h4 uh glass lens with a LED bulb, we have these fork mounted lights that uh, follow your direction of travel. So you can see that. These are standard gear up uh, driving lamps. Uh, this customer opted to install the grills for additional protection on all of these LED lights. And there's one more light you can see here on the fender. So there it is. We have a short, uh, windshield these are all standard equipment for the gear up the shovel the spare wheel the cargo rack and then we're getting into the seating this is a standard seat and it's a very very good and comfortable seat and speaking about very good and comfortable also very sturdy let's check out this food box so as you can see now it's fully mounted and it has a three-point uh, three-point structural rigidity god forbid there's any interaction moving going in this direction because regular engine protection guards not only in Ural but on other motorcycles they just go like this so if there's a side impact they do very well side meaning the side force side in the relation to the motorcycle if there's a force that goes this way it really wouldn't do anything. It would literally fold in and may even do more damage to the cylinder. Uh, but not with this setup because here we have a three point, strictly speaking, four point rigidity. And of course, getting on the bike is a breeze now. You can literally get on it and bring your foot over. If you're in an off-road situation where your weight needs to be on this side, you can literally get yourself on this side and still slowly ride the motorcycle in the off-road environment. Uh, on the steering bar, there's a lot of goodies on the steering bar on this motorcycle. Starting from your hand protection, we have them right there. We have heated grips. This is the control switch right there. 12 volt power outlet, this customer selected. We can have them USB but he selected to have the 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. You can still insert a dual USB power source right in there. So we have that. We already mentioned the... It's the bullet parking brake. Bullet parking brake, and it works actually awesome. So all, again, all you need to do now that camera is on this side, you will squeeze your handbrake, push that in, that's it. And to release, very, satisfying we have two switches here one is for fork mounted led lights and another one is for the hazard lights something we prefer not to have a reason to use but if you have to use it for whatever reason it's there it's a nice option and it's installed on this motorcycle and the most important option for any motor vehicle in United States is what? We learned it in the 90s where European cars almost failed in the United States. A cup cup holders. holders. Cup holders. We said it together, cup yeah. holders. We have plenty on this motorcycle. Let's start from the sidecar passenger. 
and check out these cup holders. Speaking about satisfying, I can do this all day long because it's so satisfying opening this cup holder and then closing it and opening and closing it. These are heavy duty. They made from uh, really rigid plastic. Uh, they have nice uh, size. You can put all kinds of drinks there. And then we have another one. This one is questionable because this one is supposedly for the rider. So you certainly wouldn't be drinking your coffee or your drink as you're riding. But as you came to a stop, you can continue to enjoy your drink by literally just pulling it out. You almost don't have to lean. It's designed for your arm extension. If you drop your arm, it's gonna fall into your uh, cup holder. All you need to do is just squeeze and grab. So we've got all kinds of goodies on this motorcycle. And speaking of goodies, there's another box that's gonna get supplied with this motorcycle that the owner of this machine is not only going to enjoy the machine, but he's going to enjoy installation of some additional goodies. Well, how about I hop in and we'll go check out that box of goodies? Yes, let's do that. Let me invite you in. Oh, thank you. Yep. And I like this rolled up tonneau cover. It's like a little pad. Yeah, let me introduce Ian. Let me just, uh, for those of you that haven't seen him on other videos. <laughs> Hi, Ian. Hey, everybody. Say hello to your fans. Yeah, I'm usually holding a camera. So yes, so continue now with... I, now I can say hello. Yes. Back to camera duties. Yes. What was that, five seconds of fame? Uh, well, <laughs> I think it was more like seven, but yeah. let's get started. I'll see, you. I'll see you in the edit. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna put it, oh, we're actually still in reverse as I was backing in. Hmm. So the nice thing about Ural, you can travel in reverse very, very long distance. If you wanna impress somebody, you can actually take them for an ice cream in reverse because this is a mechanical reverse gear it is not a an electric reverse as you would see on a lot of motorcycles that advertise a reverse gear and they can certainly go in reverse but usually it's a starter driven uh, reverse so we're gonna line up with the garage door you still need to open the door even though you're in a euro so as I close the garage door, I'm gonna show you, our showroom actually has some really cool things because we're not only come here to work, we, of course we do, but we are motorcycle and automotive enthusiasts. Check out some things we have that we created ourselves right here in the showroom. So we like goodies and some of the goodies we decide to keep for ourselves and we put them on the wall. But some, some goodies actually go with motor vehicles as this particular set that's going to go with this bike. And I know that we showed you already uh, most of these items, but we didn't have, what we didn't have at the time, we didn't have this uh, backrest. As you can see, it is heavy duty and it is designed to specifically go onto this rack, which is also heavy duty. And this is the one that goes behind the seat uh, and it mounts uh, with these heavy duty clamps. It mounts over this uh, vertical bar, which happens to be right behind the seat. The seat is literally here. So uh, this is going to be in addition to the items we already shown you before. It's a heavy duty metal plate, all powder coated, uh, really heavy duty clamps. The welds are nice too. Yes, the welds are very nice and it makes a nice package this way. And uh, just in case we forgot, no, I think we covered m most of everything. Uh, I'm not sure if we covered this item. Did we cover this item? I don't think so. Is that so. the headrest for the rack? Yeah. Is that, that car rack? Yes, that's the- I don't know if we had that at the time. Yeah, this is one of my favorites and we actually worked on this with John who you met early in this video. And this is something that we designed, uh, it took us a long time, but this is designed to buy our, made to buy our design to our specifications. All this was designed here. This is also a heavy duty clamping that goes around this bar. 
and you can actually change the height of it depending who your passenger is by flipping this and moving it a couple of inches up or down. Of course, hardware is all stainless steel as usual and it's all supplied and included. So now that we shared everything we know about this build and showed you everything we are excited about, we want to thank you for your excitement for being a part of the Ural community. Even if you don't own a Ural and you express interest in these unique motor vehicles, we thank you for that. Please consider sharing, subscribe, subscribing. Let us know which videos you like the best by simply clicking that like button. My name is Dimitri. I'm here with Ian. Thanks for watching and until next time.